What's up everybody, Josh Armijo here, I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the new album from the band Incantation, entitled Dirges of Elysium. This is released on Listenable Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Johnstown, Pennsylvania. And honestly, Incantation are a band that need absolutely no introduction within the worlds of death metal and old school death metal. Uh, Incantation are a dominant, domineering force within death metal and have been for the longest time. I mean, just a very solid body of work. I mean, I've always loved their older material from the 90s with albums such as Onward to Golgotha, to Mortal Throne of Nazarene, to um, Diabolical Conquest, to even the early 2000s material like Blasphemy. Just really, really incredible stuff. I love this band's uh, professionalism, their musical stylings, their lyrical content, their ideas, their presentations. It's just a solid total package. Uh, but then in 2012, pretty much saw a re-emergence of sorts from Incantation, and that re-emergence being Vanquish and Vengeance. I thought that was one of the best death metal releases of 2012, and um, it had probably the best lineup this this band has ever had. Probably one of the most solid, most hardest working lineups uh, in, in a long, long time. I thought the album was sensational. Uh, great, great death metal, great, great musicianship, and pretty much shows you that uh, John McEntee is a great, great person when it comes to this style of music. Um, but now, a couple of years have gone by since that album, and uh, now we have the 10th album under the Incantation banner, entitled Dirges of Elysium. It's 10 tracks, and it clocks in at around 49 minutes in length, so this is a little bit of a shorter record. And considering the time gap that this album had between this and um, Vanquish and Vengeance, I really wasn't sure what kind of turnout it was going to be. But then I remembered that earlier in the year, we got the new album from Autopsy, uh, Tourniquets, Hacksaws, and Graves, which came out no less than a year after the Headless Ritual. But because of that... Because of the time gap, it made to be probably one of the best Autopsy albums of recent memory. I still think Tourniquet, Tax, Halls, and Graves is an absolutely amazing album. But what about Dirges of Elysium? Well, honestly, I believe that with this album, they took pretty much what they were working with on Vanquish and Vengeance, they fine-tuned everything, and made things that much better. I honestly see myself listening to this album much more than I do Vanquish and Vengeance, because there is just so much great, great musicianship and great ideas being brought forth here with uh, Dirges of Elysium, and it honestly makes for not only one of the best old-school death metal releases of this year, but considerably probably one of the best incantation albums, period. I could definitely put this alongside some of their later 90s material to even maybe the first two incantations. I don't know. I really, really feel this way about Dirges of Elysium, and I think it's an absolutely fantastic record. Um, as far as the music is concerned, it's pretty much business as usual, as you would expect on a normal incantation record. I think it's absolutely stunning the amount of uh, guitar work that's being done here. Uh, pretty much who handles themselves on the guitar here are John McEntee and the great Alex Books. Um, and I believe they brought in one more person to help fill in some of the gaps of this record. Uh, I believe his name's uh, Darky Lombardozzi. Uh, I believe he played uh, session live work for, for Incantation in the past, but serves as a current full-time member of the band and played on this record. The, the guitar work on here is just so phenomenal. It is just... I... It just... It, it gets to your ears, it just makes you think, and it just delivers some absolutely devastating results. From the title track intro, to the track, um, to debauchery, to even uh, 
songs like Bastion of a Plague Soul and From a Glaciate Womb. You just get some phenomenal riff work going on here. Of course, you would expect that from an incantation release is to have some really, really amazing and just devastating riff work, and you're going to get the lion's share of that here with the guitars. I think the guitar work sounds phenomenal. The riffs are just so heavy. Even to some of the more doomier sort of aspects of this album where you get to some more moderately slower paced songs. I think the guitar riffs handle themselves quite nicely, and I think it really, really sounds awesome. Um, and speaking of sounds, I believe this is the the the, the second time they've worked with um, uh, Dan Swano. He did the mixing and mastering and production stuff for the last Incantation record, and he serves his purpose well here to bring out the best in this in this album's musical soundscapes. I think Dan Suono does fantastic work with the production here. Uh, moving on to the bass, uh, Chuck Sherwood is a fantastic bassist and is probably one of the best bass players Incantation has ever had. His bass tone is incredibly domineering and very, very pummeling. You hear his bass work so cleanly and so well here. It definitely stands out on its own, especially on the track Charnel Grounds. It's probably one of the shorter tracks on here, but yet you feel his bass tone very, very clearly very powerful it has a great rumble and punch to it especially towards the more closing moments of the track where you just hear him play bass on its own he really is a masterful bass player and he definitely weaves the stories that every song has on this album very well here uh, moving on to the drums uh, Kyle is an incredible drummer and definitely has served why he is the incantation drummer right now and um, he delivers a much more fluid and a far better performance here than on Vanquish and Vengeance. I think his drumming is incredibly impeccable. Lots of great blast beats, lots of great double bass, nice fills. Uh, just a lot of great, great, great moments to be had here. Uh, once again, going to the more doomier moments of this record, like on tracks like a, From a Glacier Womb, you just get some really, really great drum work going on here. He is a very, very meticulous sort of drummer, and he is, as usual, the consummate professional. I think he is an incredible drummer, and he probably delivers one, probably one of the best drum performances this year. This is the second time I've heard something from Kyle uh, this year, because he also played on the previous... Um, uh, Asheron album called Des Hases. He does some great drum work here, but as far as his main band is concerned, Incantation, he does phenomenal work here. And uh, moving on to the vocals, John McEntee is pretty much uh, a, a, con a, a once again being a, using the terms consummate professional here. This guy knows exactly what he's doing. He is a master storyteller, and with his vocal performance, he really, really engages the listener from the minute this album starts to the minute to the minutes that that it ends he he delivers a very very powerful vocal performance and i do think he has served very well here as the voice of incantation just so bellowing so guttural uh very understandable but yet his vocal deliveries are incredible his enunciations his growls his screams he delivers a multitude of great vocal stylings here and moving on to the closing track of this album um uh, elysium eternity is night uh i be eternity is nigh excuse me um it's 16 and a half minutes long and is probably the longest it, it's the longest song on here but it tells the most stories. It breaks itself down into many different chapters. And that's where I commend him for his songwriting aspects and his lyric writing. I really, really think it's an absolutely phenomenal track. And um, probably one of the best incantation songs I've ever heard. It's just so deep and so multi-layered. It is incredible, incredible musicianship. So overall... This is a massive, massive improvement over Vanquish and Vengeance. I really, really love Vanquish and Vengeance, but as far as Dirges of Elysium is concerned, this is, I, I feel it's that much better. It's a much faster record too, I should say, for it being, for them being masters of, of old school death metal and just adding doomier elements to their sound, they make things fly by a little quicker. And the speed of this album is just impeccable. I love the speed of this album. Great pace, great production, great musicianship and songwriting, excellent lyrical content. Incantation are at the top of their game and prove why they are probably one of the kings of this death metal genre. 
as far as the old school style is concerned, Incantation are at the top of their game here and uh, prove why so many other bands within the genre look to them as inspiration because these guys are the pioneers, legends, I would say. So if I had to pick any favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say um, Debauchery, um, Bastion of uh, Plague Soul, uh, From a Glaciate Womb, Charnel Grounds, uh, Impalement of Divinity, and of course that incredible 16 minute long track. So I'm going to leave you some links to some, select, to some selected tracks that are currently streaming for this album, and I will also link you to their web store where you can purchase it directly through the through the band. Um, you can buy this on a jewel case CD, uh, digipack, uh, vinyl, and of course they have t-shirt options including a full color print of the artwork and an all over sublimation print, which I'd say is probably one of the best t-shirts I own. Haven't worn it yet, but you'll see it eventually. So let me show you the album again. This is Dirges of Elysium by Incantation. This is released on Listenable Records. This is mandatory purchasing, and I'm going to give this the highest score I can possibly give, and that is a perfect 10 out of 10. Incantation once again showcase why they are the masters of their craft and probably one of the reasons why death metal rules so much. So support incantation. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks all for watching. Thanks for joining my channel. And until the next time, Army Hell out.